Number 44. Calculate the magnetic field strength needed on a 200 turn square loop, 20 centimeters on a side, uh, to create a maximum torque of 300 newton meters if the loop is carrying 25 amps of current. So, um, in order to calculate the magnetic field strength, right, we're talking about a loop, we're talking about torque, we're talking about current, you have to use this formula, okay? The formula is this that the torque on a current carrying loop of wire will equal the number of turns in the loop multiplied by the current flowing through the loop, or, you know, inside of the loop, inside of the wire, multiplied by the area of the loop, okay, the area basically that is experiencing a magnetic field, multiplied then by the magnetic field strength, multiplied then by the sine of the angle, and this angle is between the magnetic field vector and the normal of the area. What is the normal of the area? Please check out number 42, I went through an analysis. So now what we need to do is we need to calculate the magnetic field strength, okay? So that means I'm calculating B. So I got to divide every other term on out. So simply take these and just cross multiply them and look, there's the formula, right? Now, what's the, what's the torque? They told you the torque is 300 Newton meters. Those are the units for torque. What's the number of turns? They told you there's 200. What's the current? They told you it's 25 amps. All those are the correct units. What's the area? Well, they told you to square and it's 20 centimeters on a side, so you know how to find the area of a square. And uh, remember, though, you need that in meters, so it's really 0.2. Okay, you're going to square that. And then what's the angle? Well, it's 90 degrees. Right, why is it 90? Check out number 42. And let's just calculate. So 300 divided by parenthesis 200 times 25 times 0.2 squared. Sine of 90 is just one, so this works out to be about 1.5, I guess 1.50, sure, 1.50 Tesla. Okay, that's equal, that's what the magnetic field strength is. And the reason why I refer you back to other problems is so that I can get through these problems faster for you. I'm trying to keep up with your class, you got a lot of stuff going on, so instead of repeating myself every single question, basically the same exact identical concept, I'm just gonna explain one question thoroughly and the questions then that follow that are logically, basically identical, I'm just gonna refer you back. Okay. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.